It's one of Adelaide's most historic buildings, but few South Australians have ever seen inside its walls. Tonight, we take you through the gates of the old Glenside Asylum, once home to the state's most notorious criminals. Welcome to Adelaide's historic Glenside Hospital and inside the gates to the Z Ward. If walls could talk at Z Ward, they'd tell you a lot of amazing stories that would make your hair curl. Between 1885 and 1973, these dimly lit corridors and tiny cells house the state's criminally insane. Around 40 patients were locked up at any one time. Some of South Australia's worst criminals sent here never to come out. People who'd actually committed crimes uh, and were found to be mentally unstable would find their way to Z Ward. A so-called ha-ha wall surrounds the property on Fullerton Road. Complete with a ditch on the inside, it's the only such heritage structure remaining in Australia. It is designed to contain people, that's for sure. And what it did was prevent um, anyone from escaping or being able to climb over the wall. Initially the asylum was called the L Ward until the invention of the telephone in the 1900s when staff feared the name would be mistaken. People were concerned it sounded like Hell Ward and so of course with that awful connotation of who was here and listening to L Ward it was then renamed Z Ward. But while the stories of Z Ward remain just as vivid as the scratch marks its residents etched into the wooden doors, the future of the facility is about to change. Power company Beach Energy has purchased the heritage building and is set to transform the space into offices. On Sunday, Glenside Asylum will be opened up to the public for the first and possibly last time before the refurbishment begins. Tours of Zedward will take place between 9am and midday. Now, I've had some very interesting phone calls from you know, Ghostbusters, people want to come and exercise the building or some people coming around just taking photos from the external um, and being able to watch the shadows and actually see what they believe are people in the windows. Now and then you feel a bit, I don't know, is there someone here? Justine Northey, Nine News.